Okay, close procedure. Finish the shift, uh, or depending on your workplace, it's time to backwash the machine. You might do this in the middle of the day. As long as it's done once a day, every day, I think we're uh, on the right track. So first thing, we remove the standard basket and we replace it with a blind filter. This filter essentially forces all the water back up into the brew group and cleans away any residue that might be in that solenoid exhaust valve. Backwash the brew groups. First with water, then with chemical, then again with water. A teaspoon of chemical is enough to backwash three brew groups. We discussed doing a water backwash before we do a chemical backwash. That's so we don't push any coffee or coffee residue uh, back through before we get into cleaning. So what I like to do is get it running. And just before it really locks on, I just, I just wriggle it so I can get all the coffee, uh, particles of coffee and coffee oils and anything that might be sitting up there from the last few coffees, get that out of there. Fill it with a bit of water. Now I discussed this chemical being strong enough for one of these scoops to do three porter filters. So we're gonna do this one. So we're gonna put in a third like so. We relock the porter filter. Now this machine's equipped with an auto backwashing rinsing cycle. Some machines aren't, so for the purpose of this video, we're going to do it manually using the continuous pour button. And we do 10 seconds on and 5 seconds off. We're going to run that for 10 cycles. And then just wait. Okay, so we've done our chemical backwash. Now we're going to drop down the shower, so take a little short, stubby, flat screwdriver. Okay, so just with your screwdriver, there's a little lip on the edge here. We don't want to damage the face. So just up into the side. And that's all it should take. Grab it on both sides. Down it comes. Okay, so we've got these down. This machine's actually fitted with a group seal, group shower, and rubber washer. So that's, uh, depending on the handles you're using, the rubber washer's there to uh, get the spacing right so that the handle comes around square. Uh, not all machines will have that, but basically I'll show you where to put it if it does. First thing we're checking is the shower. So we're looking to make sure it's nice and clean in here, not too much buildup or any holes blocked. Same on this side. All pretty good, that'll get hand washed. Just with warm soapy water then rinsed well. Check the seals, no chunks missing, nice and soft, not cracking, not breaking when I do that. Uh, if they start to get brittle, it's time to um, change them out. Okay, so we've got the shower down, we've cleaned that by hand. Looking up in here now, we've got where the seal lives and we've got uh, the jet that the shower rests against. Um, so all you've got to do when you do this every day, if you do it regularly, it's, it's never too bad. You just have to um, get the cloth up in there, take the corner, clean where the seal lives, wipe the face, and it should all be nice and clean, no burnt oils. So the other thing to, to look at now is we've got to put it back together. So looking at the seal, some will have writing on top like this one, some won't but they are all the same in that one side of the seal has a square edge and the other side has a beveled edge. The shower drops in to the beveled edge and that's how it goes up into the machine. When using the uh, rubber washer or paper washer, put that on first, drop the shower through, being careful not to push the seal all the way through then as if we were going to make a coffee. You would place it into the porter filter and then push up. If it's not going in straight away, drop one side of the porter filter out, push it round, 
drop the other side out, push it round, push both in. Okay, and so now we've uh, washed that by hand, rehoused it. We're going to do another water back wash just to make sure we don't get any chemical residue blocking the jets uh, between the next time you use it, particularly if you're doing this at the end of the day. Same process, on for 10, off for five, 10 times.